Hello, it's Sal from CWP's Involvement Recovery and Wellness Centre. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rag wreath. And um, here's an example, I've got a Christmassy version here, but we're going to do a nice autumn colours version this morning. So there's lots of ways that you can make a wreath. Um, you can do it using hessian with a rag rug method. Um, you can buy proformas, you know, like a, a ring shape from garden centres or craft shops. Sometimes they are polystyrene or foam um, and you glue things on them and stick things on them. Or you can make them out of wire um, and tie things on them. But I'm going to try and um, make one from things that you might have at home um, so that you don't have to buy anything specially, sort of recycling things that we might have lying around. So I'm going to be using cardboard for my wreath and here is my prepared shape. So I've used um, a couple of layers of quite strong card from a box. Um, that was actually contained a special birthday card. So it's quite strong and I've got two layers. You could also use a brown cardboard box and or you could use a cereal box and just open it out to get a big surface. I, I think if I was using a cereal box, I'd probably use three layers because it's not as quite as strong. And we want it to hold the weight of the fabric because we're going to hang lots of fabric on here. The other things that you will need for this project are some good scissors, nice, sharp, if possible, uh, scissors that you can cut cloth and it's not going to chew away and take you ages. You will need some recycled material. I've got here a load of t-shirts um, that, you know, when you get that, you splash a bit of bleach on your t-shirt or you know, something spills down it and it just won't come out in the wash or it's got a little hole in and you think, oh, I really love the colour of that t-shirt. You just don't want to throw it away. Well, now you can make it into a rag wreath. So I've got three different colours here. Um, or, uh, sorry, four different colours for my autumn colour. So I've got a patterned one here, which is got my reds and greens in and, and a bit of yellow. And I've got red amber and green here. So um, if you were doing a summer wreath, you could use pinks and greens, or if you're doing a Christmas wreath, you could do, you could use tartan or green with red decorations on. So the possibilities are endless. I always keep a little drawer full of things that um, I, I think I can make into something just for days like this when it's um, a bit of a damp, autumn day perfect for crafting and the final thing that you will need is some buttons so you can use um, you could use red, red buttons if it was a Christmas one or gold or silver so you want a few buttons of the same kind I'm going to use for mine these lovely brown shiny buttons because they remind me a bit of conkers so mine's going to um, have that autumn theme going to be like nuts and conkers there on mine and you will also need to fix those on you could either sew them on or I am going to use my hot melt glue on which is here and this is handy for quite a lot of projects and um, so yeah ask for one for Christmas if you if you're very crafty like me okay we can get started so <clears throat> when I cut my circles out, I drew round a dinner plate and I think the inside one was a saucer or something like that. And you want the diameter across here to be roughly about five centimetres if it's a dinner plate size. Or you can do smaller ones like my Christmas one. Um, that, was, that was not quite as big. Lost it. Uh, can't find it. Anyway, that was a smaller plate. That was a sandwich plate. So um, 
when you're cutting your strips material what we're going to do is we're going to cut loads of strips like this we're going to need quite a lot of them in our different colors and they want to be about 18 to 20 centimeters long and about a centimeter wide so as I, I need absolutely loads of these I, i'm not going to measure i'm just going to go for it and cut 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 because it does take quite a while. It doesn't matter if they if they're a bit wobbly because it won't show because we we want to make quite a, a kind of a mane of these all around the wreath. So any imperfections won't show. And as I say, we need quite a lot of them, so we're not going to take ages over it. You can see I'm cutting quite roughly here, they're about a centimetre wide. And because this material is quite stretchy, it will also stretch when we're tying it on the wreath. You can also use shirt material um, or any, any material that's pretty thin, really. Um, you don't want anything too bulky, like leather or wool material. You want something that's, that's quite, quite floppy easy to cut and um, it's a good idea if you've got a particular one in mind to uh, if you've got nothing of your own to recycle you could raid the charity shops and find something that you want just for just a few pounds rather than buying expensive material and uh, an old shirt an old tartan shirt will give you absolutely loads of material so I think I've got enough now. I was doing a bit earlier, so you can see I've got a nice pile of material to go at now. So I'm all ready to get started on my wreath now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my material handy and I'm going to work all the way around this wreath, tying it around the edge, one knot two knots and just put the tails out of the way like that so it's really easy technique all it is is like tying your laces except you do it in a knot and doing going to do them close together like that and changing the color of the material One two dead easy and i'm just going to keep moving them up so that they cover the card completely and as you can imagine that's going to take me a little while to work my way around but i'm already starting to get that tassely effect that i'm after just keep moving them all up close together and just try and get the knots in different positions so that your tassels fall quite nicely and in the end you can imagine it's going to look full of these lovely colourful tassels. So I'm going to keep working on that and then I'll show you in progress and the finished results. So you can see I'm part way around now and that's really started to build up nicely with all those layers of colour and the card is completely hidden where I've got my tassels. So that's the effect we're after. I'll keep going with it and show you at the end.
So I've been working on my wreath and you can see I've filled it all in now. And so the last two little bits of it are to put a little hanging loop on the top so you can hang it on a nail. Uh, so I've got my hot milk glue gun ready for that. And if I show you, I've turned it over and decide which is the top. I'm gonna put a blob of glue here. Pressing that on with the nozzle. You can use a lollipop stick or something else to press it on and really want quite a generous amount of glue for this. And pressing that on with the nozzle. And then I'm gonna glue my buttons on when that's dry. So for your decorations, you can have them either in little clusters like this all over and you might want to trim the rags around that so that it shows them off, they don't get buried in the rags. Um, the strips on this one are a little bit shorter so um, it, does, it, it shows them off nicely. So you can have little focal points or you can have one focal point either at the bottom or at the top or both. So you just decide whichever looks right. For my autumn wreath, I'm going to have the focal point, I think I'm going to have it at the bottom here, a little cluster of nuts here. So here's my finished wreath with um, those buttons pretending to be conkers there. And I'm really pleased with that. I think it looks colourful. It makes a colourful splash. So I, that's going to go on my lounge door now. Just to give you some more ideas, um, we've got the Christmassy ones I've showed you. So, so this one has just got one colour of cloth, uh, the green and then the red is a focal point and you can add a nice red ribbon bow. It makes it look really Christmassy. I've made a felt snowman here with a bit of an old jumper for his scarf. And this one is made from two different greens. And here I've used a bit of old diamante jewelry to make the berries. So that creates a little twinkle. And again, I've just trimmed the, the rag bits so that you can see the diamante there. And it's got a red, red hanging loop and a lovely red ribbon bow all glued on with my trusty glue gun. And this one is made from, uh, this is actually using the, the Hessian um, method with a rag wool rug tool. And, um, but you could make it on the cardboard just the same. And for this one, I've used an old tartan shirt and a dark brown cloth as well, just to create that lovely rich, tartany Christmas effect and I've reused the berries off an old wreath here and added them to my wreath. I think they, they go really well. So you just have to kind of try things out and see what goes well together. And then I've added a cloth loop and a bow there at the top to hang it up. Can you tell I really love making these? I've got loads of Christmas ones. So yeah, I hope that's given you some ideas and I hope you'll enjoy giving it a go yourself. See you next time. Bye.